Here we have some yellows. In the distance, those are tulip poplars. Not the best color, sort of a drab yellow. This is yellowwood rosea. The flowers are a little pink. And this is a weeping katsura, which has a nice form. It's a little past peak. But you see the weeping form with the fall foliage. It's a very pretty tree. Even in the winter, you see the nice arching form. This one's a weeping copper beech. Not much color yet, but there's a black tupelo and the uh, leaves turn a crimson red that is very deep in color and the ones that fall down if we were closer you'd see they're very red I think that blue jay doesn't like me being here. Okay, I'll never find him again. Weeping Katsura. Medium yellow, not very bright, but a beautiful tree in the fall. And then the sugar maples. These line the street. And these are very beautiful this year. Sometimes they're just uh, yellow, medium yellow, not very bright, but this year, they are yellow to orange to burnt orange. And they just litter the lawns with color. These are some tulip poplars. It's a sugar maple. I think another Japanese maple down there. This is a tulip poplar. Set against the blue sky mid-October. And back down the silhouette. These are the sugar maples. Lining the street.
Weeping Katsura, Black Tupelo. goes on and on. These are two sugar maples. Both are selected cultivars. And this maple is starting on top. Beautiful reds. So if you buy selected named cultivars, you'll do better for color usually. It's a sweet bay magnolia with the wind lifting up the upper leaves which are turning silver. And that's just a red bud. But I like the levels of color. The red bud, the black tupelo, the tulip poplar in the distance, and there's a little bit of orange. I'm not sure what that is. Some of these maples turn earlier than the other, but you see the great contrast here between the yellow of the leaves and the dark bark that's in the shade. It looks almost black. And there's a touch of green. So here's an angled. That is a little bit different. That color doesn't look so great, it's in the shade, but when the sun hits it, beautiful orange maples. These do not always have this great orange color, but yes, this year they do. This street is very pretty. Almost every year you'll get photographers taking pictures down this street. Yeah, the tulip poplar in the distance with some yellow golds. Not very bright compared to these maples. But what I see on the screen is just a pale comparison to this tree in real life in mid-morning sunlight in early, early to mid-October. That is just incredible, especially set off against the, the black bark. Over here looks like a native unselected maple and here is a selected cultivar. If you want fall color I don't know if you can do better than this tree but it's not every year. Some of the others look more like just medium yellow that's not very bright. This one, just amazing. Against the 
unbelievably blue sky this morning. That's a nut tall oak, still very green. Dawn redwoods, still very green. Yellow tulip poplars in the distance. Black tupelo there. Persian ironwood here. And Stewardia monodelphus here. This is the North American Stewardia. Usually you see Stuardia pseudo camellia or camillus. This is, uh, and there's one of them right there. That's normally what you see as a Stuardia, but I like the fall color of the North American. It does not flower as much as the pseudo camilla but it more than makes up for it with this great fall color a mix of reds yellows oranges looks, looks orangey looks salmon orange close up it tends to look more red but a mix of colors burgundy red to bright red, yellow, orangey, orange red. Stuardia, Mondelphus.